Okay, so I'm here in Pacific Drive. And my car has developed a quirk. And the quirk in this game is some defect in the car, some type of tick that it develops while playing. And the cool thing is you have to manually diagnose it yourself. You have to notice it yourself. Then you have to go to the diagnostic machine, which is the Tinker Station. And then you can fix it. So that station over here, it gets unlocked relatively early in the game. So first I'm going to show you what's the defect in my car. So as I was driving, I noticed sometimes that the wipers would go on by the, on their own. First I thought perhaps it was a misclick or something, but it would just keep happening. And then I noticed also that the fuel gauges would rotate in unison with the wipers. So in order to fix that, you have to go to the Tinker Station. And then you have to select the correct defect. Okay, so it was wipers. I press right to go to the next field, <clears throat> and I picked stays on. Now switches on and toggles would logically also work, but in this particular tick in the game code, I think it was stays on was the correct answer. So I pick right, and it happens in combination with fuel gauge, which you can find on the dashboard. There's only one entry for fuel gauge fails, right? Now you can tell the game that you want to confirm your guess. Now it's checking if you guessed right, and it's a correct guess. So I go to fix this, pressing E. Now it tells you what you need to fix it, and it needs a mechanics kit. And now I can just select and fix. Now the game will fix it. You, only ju you just have to have the mechanics kit in your inventory somewhere. Okay, now we fix the quirk. So I think this type of minigame is pretty amazing because in another game, the game would probably just tell you, okay, you got a hard message, something's wrong on your, on your vehicle or car. Then it would tell you exactly what button to press, where to go and what to do with it. But this game doesn't, doesn't actually tell you how exactly to fix it. You have to do some guesswork. And it even doesn't tell you that there is a defect. You have to notice it by yourself. And I think that's, it sounds simple, but it's a pretty amazing twist on, on the minigame uh, on the genre of a minigame, because it actually engages your own mind as a player to even notice something's wrong, and then guess the correct combination. And it's so, it's so beautiful and comical at the same time, because you have this beautiful retro yet colorful heart. And if you ever out of, if you ever try to fix something on a car, and sometimes you get some really weird quirk in a real life car. And going through some diagnostic um, program, I think they mimic it pretty realistically. And they managed to combine all of that in, in some type of LM Wake type horror game. While having these real life relatable defects you would get with the car. And I think that's, yeah, I think it's beautiful and highly comical at the same time. And I also think this is probably the best indie game of the year. For me, it's, it's my favorite indie game since High Fleet. Because of all the, how the different mini games fit together and how they actually let the player guess something for himself. So, I hope this was useful, and as always, thanks for watching.